Hi and welcome to this video tutorial with me Wayne from drclean.co.uk. In this tutorial we're going to be ironing a shirt and this one's from Hollister. It's cotton, it has a button down collar and it has single cuffs. Alright now once again with everything that we do we want a running order, a method of doing it. And with everything we do, that method stays the same, so every shirt will be exactly the same. And with a shirt, it's from top to bottom. So we start with a collar, we then go to the yoke, we then take a cuff and sleeve, and we then take another cuff and another sleeve, and then we then do the main body of the shirt. With this particular shirt, it has buttons holding the collar in, and we have to undo those buttons before we start, because we don't want to ever iron a collar with a crease in it. A collar should naturally roll, um, it, as it bends round it should naturally have a roll in it. It shouldn't actually have what this one has, uh, to a certain extent, is a line where we think it may have been ironed in before. Now that ironing will eventually weaken the stiffening in the shirt uh, and that isn't good, that would eventually break and reduces the life of the shirt so you just don't want to iron it with any kind of fold in it at all. This particular uh, fusing in this collar is a solid fusing which means there's no loose fabric on the collar itself so we can do it as a straight over collar and we'll show you how that's done. Okay so what we're going to do is release the seams in our iron, making sure there's no drips, pulling the collar tight we're just going to run our hand over Collar to make sure that it does what, exactly what we want it to do. And from the edge, we're going in from the top. Because it's a solid colour, you don't have to worry about fabric rolling to the end and leaving a crease at the end. You can see that's a fairly stiff colour. We're now going to do the yoke. So we pick. down to make sure that's straight, we're just going to clip in the top of the uh, dart that's in the top there uh, at, the, at the back. And that's quite important because we can do it now, we don't have to do it later. Okay, pull it out, pull it out, clip that in, we're only going down in about an inch, and we've got the yoke. Now, again, you really want buttons undone in the sleeve and the cuff area. So again, this is solid, so we can go in from the edge, but straight across, we don't have to worry about coming back. Again, do not ever, when you're doing a cuff, put creases in it. It needs to just round itself off naturally. I'm going to work to the bottom seam. So I'm going to roll that out. You can see I've got the bottom seam and I'm slowly but surely working the fabric with my hand to make sure that I have nothing underneath that is going to crease up. And that's a little position that I like there. And the forward pocket, just straight along it. So I pull that tight to make sure it's tight. And I'm just rolling out the sleeve as I go from bottom to top. Missed that section there, but we're going to take into account that there. So, there, bottom, now we go in, and in the top. I just have to move my body round to take that into account. And all the time I was pulling that sleeve one way or another to tension it and make the most of the fabric so we get a really crisp fabric in the end. Second sleeve, and then go in from the button, in from the button, straight across, because it's not a soft cuff, it's a hard cuff, and again, we're going to anchor the seam at the bottom, whilst we've got it anchored, walk our hand as an iron all the way to the top, so that we know that there are no creases underneath. Pull that seam tight, we get it nice and crisp, going up, you can see, take that just there, if you can, 
flip the shirt over in one movement and we're going to go tensioned inside the first cuff. We've now done both sleeves and we can get onto the body. Now when you're on the body, you want to do small sections at a time, but of course if the bottom has been creased up, you want to stretch it. Put your arm on the bottom, swing, pull at the buttonhole section, so you get a really nice tension piece of fabric in from the side of the pocket, if there is one, and again the other side of the pocket, go up to the top, in from the side of the pocket, and you want to stretch out that seam round the underarm. We haven't done this seam, so we'll straighten out the bottom. Now this is quite a fitted shirt. We just went over that seam independently. We do very little bits at a time if we can think that that's all we can do. If that's all we can get flat, then we want to do a little bit of the left. Middle of the back. Again, tension up all the time. And notice I'm not really trying to be fast here, I'm trying to be thorough, but if you do this without a commentary, you can actually get pretty fast. Again, just make the bottom to make sure that's straight. Pulling at the seam around the underarm. And when you get to the button section, go in and out of the buttons, making absolutely sure you don't knock them too heavily because you put them in the button. If you're doing it professionally, you don't have to put the button back on. Okay, we shall roll over the collar. I would suggest you do up two to three buttons on a shirt to make sure it's all done. There we go. A shirt from Hollister, ironed and nicely on its own.